Hi everyone, I'm in Makassar, South Sulawesi. Look at the view from my hotel. Beautiful Makassar. I haven't been back to Makassar for like 10 years. I've been here a few times in my life, but yeah, I can't wait to explore places that I haven't been before. I'm Laluka and welcome to my channel, Laluka. It feels great to be back in Sulawesi. Sadly, I still have my cough. Oh, it's so annoying. Like, it's not ruining my trip, but oh, I wish I didn't have it. <laughs> I'm at Istana Tamalate and also Balalompoa. It looks like they're currently renovating this one. It's huge. And then over there is Balalompoa Museum. Okay, so I've rented out the traditional clothing of Makassar. It's, it looks very similar to the Bugis one, but it's just different headwear. I think it's called a Patonro here, or Pasapu in Bugis. But yeah, look. Really cool. Okay, we're gonna go inside now. So I'm at Museum Bala Lompoa, so it's in the smaller building. And yeah, there's a thing happening in the main room. So I can only just stay in this little museum part, but it's really cool. I took photos. But yeah. Here's some traditional musical instruments. I think that one's called a Pui Pui in Bugis. Not too sure of the Makassaris term. But yeah, here's a Kachaping. Kachaping, Kachaping. <laughs> Some drums. Some traditional Makassaris clothing. Here's some more. This is the women's version. Yeah, so traditionally, the baju bodo here was seafood. They may have a different name for it in Makassaris. But yeah, the Bugis and the Makassaris share like a similar culture. Like their languages are really different, but their cultures are really similar because of the interaction they've had with each other. Green is only worn by girls from the nobility class. Violet is used for widows. Black colour is used for women from the age of 25 to 40. So yeah, depending on the colour that you wear, that represents what you are. Really love this build. I really love this building. Here are some Makassaris handicrafts. Some food in there. <laughs> this little part of the exhibition shows the connection with the Makassans and the indigenous people in Northern Australia. I'm hoping the sound of the talk isn't as loud as me so hopefully it's all good um but yeah it's really cool like i'm sad that i didn't get to explore it like peacefully but it's okay like that they have to do what they have to do you know that's that's you know that's their talk and they're probably talking about uh, history and stuff too so it's important but yeah look at the outside 
So there's a bridge connecting the Istana Tamalate with the Balalompoa. Wow, it's really cool. But yeah, look at Istana Tamalate, it's huge! Yeah, so it looks like they're putting tiles. This is Bala Lompoa from the front. So Bala Lompoa means big house. Wow, you can see the buffaloes on the top of the gables. So the number of panels that denotes the rank of the house owner. So yeah, this one's like a high rank because it has five. Well, high rank, the, the top one, the ruler, the main person. <laughs> so I have information that this building, the Bala Lompoa, is actually an original building. But the building over there, the Istada Tamalate, that's, that's not an original building. That's just the uh, one the government made. But yeah, cool. Now I'm going to Somba Opu. So Somba Opu was a fort of the Sultanate of Goa. Apparently there's like houses there, traditional houses there. So yeah, let's go. But yeah, before we go, we just say bye, Balalompoa and Istana Tamalate. I'm now at Somba Opu Fort. Really cool! Lots of history. So I have some information here. So the fort was built by the order of the 9th Goa King Daeng Matanre Karaeng Manuntungi Tumapari Sikalona. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. <laughs> wow, look at these bricks. This place is a bit further out from Makassar city centre but I think it's totally worth going to like especially if you love history and also there's all these traditional houses from all over South Sulawesi around here Let's go up here Ooh. It's amazing how this still is here so the fort was the main center of the Goa Sultanate all the way back in the 16th century. It was destroyed by the Dutch East Indies Company in 1669. Look at these walls. Really cool. Let's go and visit the traditional houses. There's some houses from other provinces because at the time West Sulawesi was part of South Sulawesi, so there's gonna be like a Mandar house. Okay, let's go and see the traditional houses before it rains. Some of them are not in the best state, but it's okay. We can have a look. Over there is a traditional house found in Goa. And here's an example of a traditional house found in Ujum Pandang. So Ujum Pandang is the old name for Makassar. So yeah, look over there, it looks really cool. Over there is the traditional Kajang house. So the Kajang people can be found in the Bulukumba Regency. Oh, so they're like an indigenous people and they have a pre-Islamic belief system. Over there is a traditional house of the Mandar people. So the Mandar people are now part of West Sulawesi. At the time they built this, they were part of South Sulawesi province. It's really beautiful. This is Museum Krayang Pating Galong. It's a beautiful building. Apparently in Senkang, there's actually a building that looks like this, Saraja Malanga. 
So I think this is a copy of it. I'm not too sure actually. But yeah, look, it looks so beautiful. I think it can go in, but I think I'm just gonna miss it because it might rain and I wanna take photos of the other houses. So over there is Baruga Somba Oppo. So a Baruga is a traditional building where you kind of hang out. It's like a meeting building. Talk about important things. I stumbled upon this, the Ruma Adat, the customary house of Sopeng. This is where my ancestors are from. So you can see that part of the house, okay, you probably can't see, is lower than that part of the house. If you see a house like that where one side is a little bit lower, that means it's a really old style of house. I think it's called a dumping, that little lower section. This is a traditional house of Bulukumba. So this is like Taman Mini Inda but for South Sulawesi. Over there is a traditional house from Luo. Look there's chooks. Chicken. Oh wow look Tana Toraja houses. I'm not going to Tana Toraja on this trip but maybe another time. But yeah, look how gorgeous! Oh, sadly can't go in. Oh, so sad. I hope one day they fix up the place so you can actually go into the houses. And yeah, it really has so much potential. Wow, so beautiful, hey, wow. I think they, the Kotong Konan, well, these houses are just so beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Look at the carvings. That's just a typical Boogie's house over there. That's all I'm going to record for today. I think we've seen enough traditional houses and some history. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like this video and also subscribe. Follow me on my social media. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye.